obviously I would love people to buy their local map and to go explore their local map. But the idea that I uh, would like to suggest is a bit more specific than that. Um, the Seven Summits is a great mountaineering challenge. You know, to, the challenge is to climb the highest mountain on every continent, Everest, Aconcagua, Denali, etc. It's a brilliant expedition, but it costs tens, hundreds of thousands of pounds and involves flying all over the world. So my suggestion, my challenge is for people to try their local seven summits. You can look online and find the seven trig points closest to where you live on the trig bagging website and go tag your local seven summits and stick it online with a hashtag local seven summits so that we can all see where you've been exploring. And if you say uh, to me, oh, I can't do that because where I live in Norfolk, the hills are tiny. My answer to that is even better. What a fascinating <laughs> place to go and tackle the seven summits of Norfolk. I think literally wherever you live in Edinburgh, of course, there's the seven hills of Edinburgh. So find your own local seven summits and go tackle them. Fantastic. Fantastic. I might just start that this weekend. I've got a free day on Saturday, so I might, nice. I might get, get started on that. A good uh, one to do with the family as well, I think. Either yeah. you could do one a month, one a week, or yeah, a nice one to gradually tick off as a family. Yeah, my little girl's keen to do it, but we're waiting for the the winter to, to pass because, <laughs> yes. let's say, we've got a little place down in Loch Lomond and she's keen to climb Ben Lomond, but it's covered in snow at the minute and she's just too small. So <laughs> we'll bag that uh, in springtime. Yeah, a couple of suggestions of things that I think it'd be good for listeners to go find out a bit more about. One doesn't really apply to the Scottish listeners, but any English or Welsh ones is the, the right to roam campaign. It's just, I, it just amazes me how little of our wild places we have access to. If that annoys you as it does me, have a look at the right to roam. There's an organization called Trash Free Trails, which I find really hard to say, Trash Free Trails, who are doing brilliant work just trying to get people like us who care about our outdoors to take some responsibility and clean it up. And they have a really good phrase. I, mean, I think there's the phrase of leave no trace is a really common one for micro adventures. Go on a hill, leave no trace. Trash free trails go <laughs> one step further and they encourage us every time we go out to leave a positive trace, leave the countryside better than you found it. So I think that's really fantastic. And then the final one is slight step away from adventure, but I found it quite an interesting thing to consider is a group called takethejump.org who suggest six lifestyle changes that we can make, which will be good for the planet,